Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Earnings season has not officially ended, but it's close enough too. And I really want to run through what's been quite an interesting period because for the first time in many, many moons, we actually saw more companies outperforming the street than expected. And that's a good thing to see. We've seen 47.8% of companies beat on the sales line and 42.8% of companies on the earnings line. Historically, it's more like 42% on the sales line and mid 30s on the earnings line, which shows that maybe we're overly pessimistic from the analytical world right now, or that maybe firms are doing better than expected in the cost of living crisis and the higher interest rate environment. It was also not necessarily evenly spread. And what I mean by that is that if you look in sector numbers, some of the parts of those sectors did really well, and some did not. If you look at the discretionary, you look at JB Hi-Fi, you look at Temple and Webster, you look at Nick Scarly, and you also to some extent look at Kogan, they did reasonably well. Then you look at Harvey Normans, didn't go as well as probably somebody like uh, JB Hi-Fi. You then look through some of the other ones as well, City Chic, et cetera. They are certainly on the downside. So again, it might be more apparel companies or those companies with larger footprints with higher costs that possibly explain that. You then look into things like materials and there's a lot to go on here. Iron ore was reasonable for something like Fortescue and also for Rio, but BHP, their iron ore division, basically masked what's been a tr pretty terrible scenario with what's going on inside nickel. And there was a clear difference between those three. You also look into the players around transition metals. You know, you look at Independence Group, Pure Metals, etc. The story in nickel and lithium is completely overriding what are good businesses normally, but have an underlying commodity exposure that doesn't really warrant anything exciting at the moment. Copper also was the other area that needs to be highlighted. Yes, that most copper now is integrated into the big miners, but it's clear how important copper is going to be across the board, because you can't have the transition to EV without copper. You can't have the transition to domestic appliances without copper. And that, I think, for me, was the standout. Banking. Banking was a really interesting space because all of the materials that came out from the banks was, we are price sensitive, we are price sensitive, we are price sensitive. Yet the market looked through all that and said, look, banks are doing all right. They are, but they are no doubt warning us that things are tough and are getting tougher. So despite the fact that you saw a reasonable result from Combank, from NAB, Westpac and ANZ, to some extent, I would argue that their forward outlooking guidance maybe we've probably was ignored, I think is probably the term. And I think the second half of this financial year is going to be tough for the banks and an area to watch. Finally, the other things to really highlight and sort of put your fingers out, integration. So those that have gone out and bought things in the last five years, CSL is a great example with Vifor, they always have trouble with synergy. They always have trouble with integration and CSL was a good example of that, but not the only one. And again, I think the market marked down anybody that took a risk and acquired something or tried to bring it into their firm they were the ones that also caught my attention from the point of view that although they have good intentions, no firm is perfect at integrating anything. 